Hey, space fans, it's Tarek Malik, editor in chief of space.com. And on this week in space, we talked all about NASA's Artemis II mission to send astronauts to the moon for the first time this century. But my favorite part of our discussion was when we looked at the Orion spacesuits. They're orange, my favorite color, but also you can live in them for 144 hours. That is crazy. Check it out. One of the, to me anyway, one of the other things of this mission, because they're not going into lunar orbit and they are on a free return, you don't have that single point of failure, which we had. When you look back on Apollo 8 now, and you think about the fact that this thing had never been flown outside of Earth orbit, we had never gone out with life support systems to the moon and back for, the, for anything like that duration of time. We had flown in orbit that duration of time, which is why Gemini 7A flew for 14 days to test that duration, but never gone out that far. And the only way those guys were coming home is if that that uh, service module engine, the service propulsion system fired up. One engine, two igniters, or uh, not igniters, but two valve sets because it was hypergolic fuels. But I mean, if that engine didn't fire, they were staying. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing that just drives engineers nuts, but they did it anyway. And, you know, no lunar module in that mission. So it just boggles the mind that it worked as well as it did. And I wish these guys all the same success. Well, yeah. And I think that there, that is kind of NASA's go-to line to remind everyone who is criticizing them for why are they just looping around the moon? They're not even going to go into orbit on, on this one. And it's because they've packed a lot into this test. You know, this is the, the mm -hmm. first one with crew uh, to the moon, but it's also the first Orion with crew as well. So all of those other early Apollo tests, they're all happening also on this flight you know that first 25 hours are critical critical uh periods uh for this mission because they have to make sure that the 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 co2 scrubbers are working the way that they think that was not on artemis one they have to make sure that the water system that lets them you know stay hydrated and stay alive works they have to make sure the toilet works there's a toilet on this mission it's in the floor which is crazy but it has it's built on iss legacy uh uh, uh experience you know but you don't want that uh to to malfunction so that they have to use bags the entire time uh and then the, the you know the the dumping of that stuff overboard to make sure it doesn't shimmy too much with their 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 trajectories because fido said that's going to change everything on this right. one compared to artemis one you so you talk about like if they're venting urine or something yeah it, it, it'll, it'll becomes change a little their, rocket e yeah. exactly and they'll have to make make adjustments over time yeah we, we were talking to some of the uh the engineers in at, at johnson and you know of all they, they you know they plan for as many situations and scenarios they can in these in these missions um and they have a scenario where the crew you know if there's uh, a pressure issue or um a life support issue tark help me with the number but the crew ends up uh they have a the capability to be in their spacesuits their spaces for 144 hours for 144 hours what is that that's like three days right <laughs> inside a spacesuit so so we'll this is this. we're still waiting on the eva suits so these are just pressure suits right yeah these yes. are the these are the orion crew survival suits they call them ox right that's a pretty cool uh, uh acronym uh and this was my favorite thing in fact we should probably wrap up uh this part because i do want to talk about the new astronauts too um but my, my favorite thing about the, these media days was being able to talk to the engineers behind the suits because they look uh very similar to the aces suits the advanced crew uh escape suits that the that nasa used during the space shuttle mission but they're built for a deep space survival right and they're, they're, they'll, they'll launch in partial pressure so that they can move they're, they're bright orange for visibility um they have um, a, a lot of pockets there's like a knife in one one pocket there's an oxygen bottle for spare oxygen in another um but as josh said uh, they have um the ability to be able to stay in these suits uh with that you know with, with you know hooked up to oxygen uh, for 144 hours, there's little ports to get uh, uh, extra water or food in uh, if they need it. There's a really complicated, and I, they had to explain it to me like three times, very complicated system that, where they strap devices on the front and the rear to be able to go to the bathroom in, 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 in 144 days in space. And it sounds extremely complicated. 144 hours. Or hours, hours yeah, yes. not days. So that would be even, that'd even worse. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, 144 hours uh, over time until they can restore things. And it was absolutely uh, crazy. So um, the engineers were very patient with all of our toilet questions. Yes, yes. Cause and, there were and many. thorough. <laughs> well, it, it beats using the top hat, as they used to say. Um, 
before we move on to the uh the top the, hat was the bag everybody that stuck to your butt the bag with the <laughs> adhesive that had a little glove in it so you could you could mix in the uh oh, germicide no. why do you gotta uh, wiggle your fingers man <laughs> because that's what they had to do when you listen to these guys talk about it, it's like okay tell me the detail oh no, okay don't tell me the details 